Matthew Movies coming at you with another rant. This time I'm going way, way back in the way back machine, and I'm going to be talking about a movie called Laura Croft Tomb Raider that came out all the way back in 2001. So uh, you may be wondering, wondering to yourself, why am I ranting about a movie that came out 15 years ago? And it's because the, I saw this movie in the theater, and the, I swear to God, in the first two minutes of the movie, I just completely checked out because of the way this movie started. And I remember wa like watching it and looking around and looking to see if there was anybody else that was ex as exasperated as I was and never really seemed to be munching away on their popcorn perfectly happy. And here I was just com absolutely flabbergasted by what I had just seen. So you may be wondering why. So. If you haven't seen this movie, first off, you're not missing out on much. Uh, maybe if you're a devotee of video games, this is the one movie that you need to check out. But otherwise, no, it's not that great. Angelina Jolie's kind of mailing it in. It's just a mediocre movie. Uh, it's not awful, but it's just nothing great, right? But the whole plot of the movie, for those who haven't seen it, uh, there's there's this group of people, uh, archaeologists, I think. I think Laura Croft is an archaeologist. I don't know. I'm not a big or a video game guy. I'm a huge movie guy, not a big video game guy. But anyways, these guys are trying to find this this thing that will make you be able to make them recreate the world in any way they see fit from like a molecular level. Like they can undo all like they can they can turn back time and like they could they could do pretty much whatever the hell they want, right? It, it's it's this this emblem thing that's gonna make them all powerful, right? And so the entire movie that you got this group of bad guys that are gonna gonna go get this thing and it's and it's clear that this is gonna be awful if they get it because they're gonna all they care about is making themselves rich and they're not gonna work, think about what's gonna happen to the rest of society. And only Laura Croft can save the day. And so, you know, you're supposed to be like, come on, Laura Croft, get them. You can save the day. Oh, well, I hope to God Laura Croft is there, gets there first, right? Because, like in Indiana Jones movie, it's clear where they got the, this. They, where they basically it's clear that they're trying to make an Indiana Jones movie, but with more modern and more sex appeal. Although that's we get sexier than Harrison Ford. I mean, I'm a straight dude and I can see it. But, anyways, so that's the entire movie, right? The problem is this, the movie starts and it completely undoes everything that we see after because it's got like a little scene at the beginning where it's ba they're telling this the short a short story on the history of this this totem or whatever the hell you call it it's gonna give them all these powers and they show this this city right where the, everybody was got this thing and they were just obsessed with uh, cultivating their own power and they became mighty and rich but but corrupt and then the stupid thing apparently sensed somehow that these guys were bad and used its own powers to, to destroy them and undo all the wrong that they'd done and set everything right. So then why the hell am I supposed to give a crap? Who gets this thing going forward? If Laura Croft gets it, uh, I, uh, I guess that's slightly better. It'll end up in a museum or something, or I don't know what she could, like, lock it up in a locker somewhere. I don't know what she's gonna do with it. Frankly, I don't give a crap. Because if she does, if she uses it and, like, does it in, like, a kind way, maybe things will stay the same. Maybe they won't. Maybe this thing is just, you know, a prank from God being like, Haha, I'm gonna give you powers, but as soon as you use them, you're screwed. But it, the, if these bad guys use it, they're just gonna be undone by the, the, the thing itself. So why do I care? The whole movie is completely undone. Like, honestly, it's not a good movie, but I really hope that there is somebody out there who has watched, will watch this video one of these days and be like, My God, yes, I was watched that scene too, and I was flabbergasted. Like, why would they put that scene in there? Like, it's completely unnecessary. And every single piece of information that you get from it, other than the fact that anybody who uses this thing for wrong will be completely undone, is told throughout the rest of the movie. Like, there are scenes in the rest of the movie that explain what the thing can do and why they need to, like, that these guys are evil and all. Like, there's no purpose served other than to completely undermine the rest of the story of the movie. Like, how did this... It's a huge movie. Like, it was a gigantic movie when it came out. How the hell does a movie get through the process of filmmaking without anybody being like, uh, guys... Uh, if we have that scene, there's nothing in the, the nobody should care about what happens to the rest of this movie. Why did, they, like, how in the hell does that happen? So, anyway, I wish this movie had come out last week so that other people had seen it and would be, be able to chime in, but unfortunately it's a little older, so maybe, 
everybody will have no idea what I'm talking about. But at the very least, just imagine what it would be like if you watched the movie like, and that happened at the beginning. Like, how did how people did not, like, walk out at the time? And I'll tell you this, the only reason why I saw the movie is my buddy paid for my ticket. And if, if he hadn't paid for my ticket, I would have been walking out right then. Because that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a movie. Like, all the, the stuff in the other movie, uh, involved, like the creeper stuff, like, is no good. But this completely undoes the entire movie. And uh, for no reason. Like, my lord. So, if you seen, if you saw the original Tomb Raider, please comment below. Please, please, please comment below. If you know somebody who you think might have seen the original Tomb Raider, please comment below. I'm dying to hear somebody else's... The, take on this thing and I'm dying for somebody else to be able to chime in and be like I feel like I'm i am just gone crazy here I'm taking crazy pills because I nobody seems to ever say anything about this and I know like I said it's been a long time at this point so why would anybody be talking about this other than the, the crazy person who loves movies and is still obsessing about this thing all those years later but that even when this movie came out nobody seemed to talk about this so please please spread the word uh, about this to anybody who's like a gamer and a movie fan who you think may have watched this because I'm just dying Dying to hear somebody else say you know what that guy is right. I don't know what the hell they were thinking or You know, I never thought of it before but now that you mention it give, give me something here people uh, And please subscribe to the, to the channel if this is your first time checking it out and uh, Let me know what you think. Let me know even if you haven't seen the movie what you think about that setup and how ridiculous it is and uh, If you try to tell me that you think it's fine, then you and I are gonna have some words my friend uh, So have a nice day